U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis on Tuesday flatly dismissed reports suggesting he may be leaving President Donald Trump's administration in the coming months, saying flatly, I wouldn't take it seriously at all. How many times have we been through this now, just since I've been here? It will die down soon, and the people who started the rumor will be allowed to write the next rumor too, Mattis told reporters at the Pentagon. Just the way the town is, he added. Keep a sense of humor about it. The remarks were the most direct by Mattis, to date about intensifying rumors about his future as Trump approaches the halfway mark of his four-year term amid speculation about changes to his cabinet after upcoming November midterm elections. Adjacess Advertis Engine Read invented by Teeds Mattis has become a focus in media stories in recent weeks about the Trump administration, particularly after the release of a book this month by Watergate reporter Bob Woodward that portrayed Matt as privately disparaging Trump to associates. T. Author says Matt has told close associates after a National Security Council meeting this year that the president acted like and had the understanding of a fifth or sixth grader. Dailymail.co.uk I knew picks 2018 918 2350 ED ED B 000057861182573 JPG height equals 426 width equals 634 alt equals class equals book border imk share copy link to paste in your message Matt is strongly denied making any such remarks. Trump on September 5th said a defense chief would remain in his job, adding, he'll stay right there. We're very happy with him. We're having a lot of victories. But a New York Times report on September 15 said Trump had soured on his defense secretary, weary of unfavorable comparisons to Mattis as the adult in the room. It also noted this year's arrival in the White House of Mira Ricardo, who now has the powerful post of Deputy National Security Advisor, and who current and former officials tell Reuters is believed to dislike Mattis. Western officials privately extol Mattis, whose standing among NATO allies has risen as they become increasingly bewildered by Trump's policies on trade and Iran and disoriented by his outreach to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Mattis has a dim view of journalism about inside the Beltway politics in Washington, using the word fiction to describe Woodward's book and similar reporting about closed-door conversations among you. As national security leaders dot asked about their recent report speculating about his departure, Mattis said, it's like most of those kinds of things in this town. Share this article share somebody cooks up a headline. They then call to a normally chatty class of people. They find a couple of other things to put in. They add the rumors. Next thing you know, you've got a story, he said. Still, Mattis is not political by nature, and previously made no secret of the fact that he was not looking to become Secretary of Defense or even return to Washington when Trump was elected. The retired Marine general had stepped down from the military in 2013 and taken a job at Stanford University. He told his Senate confirmation hearing last year he was enjoying a full life west of the Rockies when the call came about the position. Asked Tuesday whether he thinks about leaving, Matta said, I think about doing my job each day. After answering questions about his future, Mattis was asked whether he never considered life after the Pentagon. 
Mattis joked, of course I don't think about leaving, I love it here, he said with a smile. I'm thinking about retiring right here. I'll get a little place here down on the Potomac.